the day of Yutchvat has many aspects of its significance. It's of course the Yem Hailula of the Friedi Rebbe. But as we find that the Rebbe very often when he spoke about Beis Nissen, he primarily focused that it was the Haskhalas and the Seas of the Friedi Rebbe. Similarly, for us Chassidim, Yud Shvat and Yud Aleph Shvat, as was uh, spoken about by the Rebbe in the most recent years, is the day of the Haskhalas and the Seas of the Rebbe. When the Rebbe accepted the Nasias, when he be, began his Nasias, and so on. The word Nasias, of course, comes from the word Nasi. And uh, almost 50 years ago on Yud Shvat, the Rebbe began the Yud, Yud Shvat Fabrengen by discussing at length the significance of a Nasi. He brought from the Sefer Kehildus Yankif that in the Erech Rebbe, Rebbe he writes that Nasi is Rosh Tevis, is the acronym of Nitzutze Shel Yaakov Avinu. That a Nasi is a spark of Yaakov Avinu. And the Rebbe asked the sim seemingly what is the significance of Yaakov in contrast to the other Ovis. There's Avram, Yitzchak, Yaakov. Why Davke and Nasi is Nitzutze Shel Yaakov Avinu? And the Rebbe brought the Gemara. The Gemara says that Shufri the Yaakov Me'en Shufri the other Marishan. That there is there are certain similarities between Yaakov and other Marishan. One of them is that the Rebbe said was that for other Marishan is the Neshama Klolis from whom all all Neshamas come from. Everyone comes from other Marishan. And that is what is unique with Yaakov. By Avram, by Yitzchak, we find, the Gemara says that Avram is Yatsum Imene. He had a son Yishmael, which did not carry forward the qualities and values of Avram Avinu. By Yitzchak, Yatsum Imene, Esav, who again did not carry forward the values and the Pa'ulis of Yitzchak, but by Yaakov it's written Metas Yishlema. Yaakov is the source of all those that come out from him that they carry forward all the things that Yaakov represents. He's in the Shama Klolis just like other Marishan is in the Shama Klolis. There is no Yotzim Emende by Yaakov. And that is the concept of a Nasi. A Nasi is a Nasi over Kol Anshe Hader. Not only Anshe Hader, Bnei Yisrael, but all humans, not only humans, but every Balchai, every Tzemeach, and every Daimon. Everything gets its Hashpa, its existence through the Nasi, through the Nasi Hader. And Rebbe explained there in that sikha, it was several sikhas actually, that this is the difference between G'dayli Yisrael, G'dayli Yisrael Amitim, true G'dayli Yisrael, that they were not Nasim. To them, for one reason or another, not every person in the generation had a shaykhah to that individual, to that God will be Yisrael. They had Talmidim, they had followers, but not necessarily that everyone in the generation has a shaykhus to that, to that God will be Yisrael. Masha'en ke nasi, as opposed to that, a nasi, a nasi is a nasi over everyone. And a nasi is even concerned and involved with the pachas shebib He is concerned 
and he has to get his hashba to him. I recently heard again that Sikha, and it's very interesting that the Rebbe, the terminology that the Rebbe uses, the Rebbe uses the, Rebbe, the phrase, and when you look at it from another vantage point, who better than the Rebbe can describe what is a Nasi? Generally when other people describe it, they look at something from the outside. But a Rebbe, the Rebbe describing a Nasi is Yudaitiv Hayisif. He is a Nasi and he can best describe it. The Rebbe describes that what is a Nasi, a Nasi Erkenit Fartrogan. He cannot tolerate that anyone or anything in his generation should not benefit from his Paulus. That a Nasi has Paulus, there's no question about that. But he cannot tolerate that anyone or anything in his generation should not benefit from those Paulus. And that Sikh the Rebbe went in at length in the deep in Yonim Echsidis, the Indian of Shame, how the Indian of Shame, the name of a person on the one side, on the one hand it's something external, it's Bechetzenius, because a Nasi, a Melech, can have the same name as other people. Nevertheless, the Rebbe explained that the name is something which touches the etzim, it touches the essence. Basically in that Sikha the Rebbe spoke at length that in Teda terminology, what is a Nasi? A Nasi is a Melech. When the Pasik says, the Rebbe said, in Vayikra, Asher Nasi Yechta, that if there will be a Chisarn by a Nasi, the Gemara says, that means a Melech. And a Melech, his name is over the complete Medina. Whatever is in the country that the Melech is on, his name is on that. Not only the subjects are subject of that king, but everything, every piece of daimim in that Medina is a stone of, in the Malchus of this Melech. So Shmei Nikra, Nikra, the name of the king, affects every detail what is under his kingdom. The Rebbe also stressed in that Sikha that if someone is in the day of a Nasi, you have to know the obligation that you are carrying the name of that Nasi and you are representing. The Rebbe said whether, whether someone likes it or not, if he felt him to it, in the door, in the generation of this and this Nasi.